With us today on Island Focus is G. Lee, who is the Executive Director for the Hawaii Nature Center. Thank you for being here with us. Thanks for having me. This nature center means a lot to you. It does. It's a really special place. Um, I actually didn't know about it before I started working there a couple of years ago. Um, but I come from the social service sector and this is an opportunity for me to actually be a part of the population that I serve uh, because I have a six-year-old and our mission is to connect children and families to nature. Maybe you could share where, where it's located because maybe some people don't even know you exist. Yes, it's a little hidden gem, you know, right in Makiki Valley at the back of the valley near the foot of the Makiki Loop Trail and that's our main uh, headquarters and then we also have a location in Iao Valley on Maui and in the last 36 years that we've been around, we've served over a million local kids. Now, when you say you've served children, mm -hmm. what does the Nature Center really do? So we have a lot of really wonderful programs and services that really run the gamut. We do weekend family programs where they're able to come and uh, be with their parents and have interactions there. We do birthday parties on site, both in Maui and in Makiki Valley. We also do field trips for schools, both public and private schools. So most of the kids actually on Oahu and Maui have probably been to the Nature Center. It's just many of the parents haven't. Uh, and then we do intercession day camps uh, during fall, spring, summer, and winter uh, breaks. So it's predominantly education oriented. It is. And having kids work with each other on certain projects or? The whole idea is to have an immersive approach to connecting them to nature and really understanding uh, their kuleana in, in being able to take care of the environment and malama aina, but then also uh, creating the next generation of environmental stewards. You know, this day and age, the kids are always on their iPads or on a phone, and it's really not a given the way it used to be when we were growing up to be outside all of the time. So it's a really wonderful opportunity for them to connect to, you know, the scarce resources that we have and have them understand that this is something that they're going to be responsible for as they get older and hopefully make a profession out of it even. Well, and I appreciate you recognizing that it's different than the times when I grew up and certainly even with, with you. Definitely. It must be challenging, you know, to have kids who are so, to work with kids who mm -hmm. are so comfortable with being indoors mm -hmm. and on technology to be outdoors and barefooted or getting dirty mm -hmm. or touching things that they're not used to. Yes, I think the most amazing part is some of, some of the children that, that we have come into the nature center actually haven't really had those experiences. A lot of those things are are almost, you know, uh, frowned upon or looked down upon um, as doing. So when the kids come out and they're out there playing in the lo'i and getting <laughs> muddy, I mean, they have an absolutely fabulous time. And uh, initially, many of the kids come in looking really, really nervous about what they're getting into. And by the end of the trip, they're, you know, muddy all the way up to their knees and having to change their clothes before they go home. So you have lo'i in the back of the valley as well? We do, yes. Uh, it actually is managed by Halau Kumana, our neighbors down the street in Makiki Valley. Valley, uh, charter school and uh, we also help to to take care of it as well so they're able to go up um, it's on the Makiki Loop Trail it's right in our backyard I know you mentioned that you have a six-year-old son and mm -hmm. that you include him in your activities what is the in, in closing for our conversation what's the one thing that you noticed about his mm -hmm. participation with you well, I think that's been one of the most amazing things that I've been able to experience and it's really a gift that the Nature Center has given to me as well and the mission has given to, to me and my son uh, the opportunity for him to go from in the beginning when I first started going, oh my gosh, cockroaches and oh, millipedes and not being able to touch those things. To, now, I live in Manoa Valley in the back of the valley and, you know, you have he, lots of things that live yes. there with you. So anything that isn't poisonous, he's come, going up and saying, mom, stop everything that you're doing. And he grabs it, puts it in a bug box and wants to take it outside. So those kinds of experiences for him to really learn not only his malama aina, but also to be able to have the opportunity to you know, take those skills of taking care of, of, of other things and that, that's, you know, that can be really broad in terms of how it can be applied. Well, thank you for sharing your enthusiasm and so much information no, with thank us. Thank you so much. We've been chatting with G. Lee, who is the Executive Director for the Hawaii Nature Center. Thank you for being with us. And